Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of making um, one of the planet's moons larger to 5,000 kilometers in radius. So today we are at the Neptune system as you can see and yeah a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this um, by what I've seen in the comments. A lot of people have been asking me to do it. So yeah here we go at the Neptune system now for the final part of this sort of mini series I guess. I still actually should do um, a remastered version of Saturn in the newer version of the game actually. Um, but yeah, we could, probably could um, do some of the other planets as well, so I'll probably get around to doing that at some point. But yeah, here we go. So here is Neptune. And I've actually, um, this is in the um, highly coloured edition of Neptune as well, as we can see. The very vibrant blue um, version here. But yeah, for the moon, so unlike last episode, we're actually going to be doing all of the minor moons closer than Nept or than Triton. Sorry, we're going to be doing all, all of the moons here. We're going to be making them 5,000 kilometres. And we're going to see what sort of chaos we can... Um, bring up here and we got triton i guess we can do um this one as well and there we had here but yeah i don't think this guy is gonna really cause much bother but yeah we'll, we'll do it anyway but anyways yep yeah. so let's go ahead and pause this and set up so yeah all of these moons 5,000 in radius should be a crazy show once oh yeah okay two of these moons are already gonna collide we'll make them bigger so yeah this is gonna be uh pretty chaotic we probably should move those moons away from each other actually before we start off so i'll, I'll definitely make sure to do that but yeah this is gonna be pretty crazy stuff so no i don't want to do fifty thousand. no way right um so yeah here we go right yeah th this looks very very chaotic actually since these moons are very very close i mean comparing it to uranus last time the first moon out was a lot further away than these guys so yeah pretty crazy stuff and obviously triton as well there we go let's do that and then the final one we will do as an area over here so let's go ahead and enter its command in right there we are right We'll make sure to, um, yeah, we'll move this guy first, actually. Um, so let's just go ahead and move that, just so it's not collided with the other one. We'll pull it there. Why not? And then we will definitely save this, and we'll just call it Neptune 5000 this time. So there we go. So Neptune 5000. Right, there we go. So that's saved. So let's wait for that to save. Right, come on. Yeah, it's the, I've definitely noticed the game's a lot more laggy and buggy, and a lot of people have been reporting it's a lot more buggy in the new version as well, so hopefully we don't get any of that nonsense. But without further ado, let's begin this absolute chaos, as there is so many moons here. And for anyone wondering why I haven't done the moons further out, they're so far apart, nothing will really happen to them anyway, um, as we saw in the previous episodes. If you make them bigger, the, the outermost moons don't hit anything, or they just, they just stay the same. So yeah, we're, we're not going to be altering those. But yep. Yeah. Let's go ahead and click play. So we'll start at about 10 minutes. I don't know how quick something will happen. I mean, these are very close. So there's definitely going to be something happening straight away. So there we go. Let's click play. And let's watch as this chaos unfolds. So I'm assuming maybe the first collision could be between... It's definitely between the four innermost ones. That's going to be for certain. It looks like Rouge Limit is actually tearing this one up. Actually, looks like Neptune itself may actually be taking these guys down. They're so close that the planet itself is actually going to rip them to shreds first. But it looks like we may get a collision between these two. I mean, even though it's being torn apart, they're still very, very close. So, yeah, we're definitely going to see something there. Or oh, I think we will. I mean, they are... That is very dangerously close there. It looks like this one's actually picking up some of the material that's being shredded apart as well. I mean, as we can see here, if we just go in flashlight mode, we can see there's a lot of material... Uh, floating around Neptune now if you look carefully you can see there's a whole ring of a material just hovering around so yeah pretty crazy stuff there but let's continue so there we go I'm surprised that the moons didn't hit they were so close to there but yeah look how, look how close they are how are they not impacting into each other yet got a bit of water showing up on this one with some lava as well damn they are very close though so uh, we'll speed it up a tad more there we go just, just a little bit don't want to go too crazy so we've got Protoss there coming in as well. Put orbits back on just to keep an eye out. But there we go. The fourth moon seems to have actually got a little further out so far, but it looks like it's coming inwards again. Yeah, we are, there's definitely going to be a collision. It's just a moment. or just a moment. It's got to be the right moment for it. But yeah, this this one is definitely going to get involved in something, I think. I mean, it could happen right now with um, this one here. Oh, yeah. Come on, surely. They're going to collide? Wow, that is crazy. But yeah, this isn't going to last forever. That is for sure. So let's keep it up. Looks like Roosh Limit is... Look how small that one is getting. Only 2,100 now. Yeah, it's getting even smaller. So that one's lost so much mass. There we go. But yeah, Neptune Neptune is getting bigger. It's actually eating this material up. Oh, and there we go. There is the first collision. So let's get just a closer view of all that. So all that material has just been shredded in apart in here. I mean, look at all those... Look at all that particles. So it's just probably going to start forming a ring around Neptune as well. But yeah, there we go. Look how much the planet's eating up. All of that material. 
So it's getting a lot bigger in size. It's a free well, 30,000 now. In, look how big Neptune is. <laughs> Damn. So that means all the orbits could change out here as well. Where's Triton? Oh, there it is. So Triton is still uh, just chilling in the outer areas there. Looks like these two moons could be at a close impact time as well. They are getting dangerously close together. I mean, wow. If they do, if they somehow survive this, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, here we go. And they have some, they have merged. There we go. So yeah, we're doing this in the new version of the game as well. So we can maybe get some cooler looking explosions and stuff. But yeah, there we go. So that's another moon engulfed by one there. So there we go. That's a, that's a about, I think that's two moons gone so far now. So yeah, there we go. So let's keep it up. We've got Protoss still in here. I can't actually run the simulation much faster. Oh, no, no, there we go. All right. But yeah, this one is on a very, very close course with Neptune itself now after that impact. I mean, look at this orbit. Just look at that orbit. That... This is surely Neptune's going to eat this up or shred it with um, Rouge Limit. I mean, that, look how close that is. Just, just look. Like if we just uh, land on this guy for a second, so let's actually just land on here. And if we look up, look how close we are to the planet itself. If we just pull it on, um, we'll pull it on Studio quickly. That's um, very, very close. I mean, that's how big the red giant sun would probably appear in the Earth sky. I mean. That is, that is ridiculously close to um, the planet itself there. So, yeah, if this somehow survives, I mean, I, I don't know how it's doing that. I mean, that, that orbit is ridiculous. But, yeah, there we go. So it's some, it survived its first encounter there, but I'm not sure it will survive much longer with those close calls with Neptune, especially if another moon affects it as well. But, yeah, that is, that is ridiculous. We can still see there's some impacts with Neptune itself. You can see there is definitely material still floating around and crashing into it. Looks like these two moons are about to have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Or maybe not, no? Oh, it's been, this moon's being pulled in, I think. Getting closer to it. I mean, look how close that gets to Neptune. That is mad. It's creating a shadow on the planet as well. But, yeah, Protus here is dangerously close. We've also got this other moon, which is still being shredded up by Neptune as well. It's lost a lot of size there. Triton, on the other hand, still just chilling out there. And also, Nariad over here, that's not had any um, confrontation at all. And that's pretty far out already. So, yeah, these moons further out, they wouldn't have any sort of in incident um, at all. So, yeah, that's why I've not made them bigger. But, yeah, here we go. So let's keep it rolling. So just look how big Neptune is getting now. If we just pause and get a look at the whole simulation here. Look how, look how big Neptune is over Uranus now. It's on its way towards the Saturn size. But yeah, it's a lot bigger than what Uranus is at. Um, 25,000 in radius. This one's all the way at 36. It's got an extra 11,000 kilometers over Uranus now. So I don't know why um, it's doing that. I'm not sure it would do that in reality. But Neptune's not really what we're focused on. It's the moons. It's just the Neptune's just the god here out of everything anyway. But yeah, it looks like we've had another collision there. And all that material going up. Proteus taking a massive impact there. But now all of these three orbits are all into loop with each other. So they could collide at any time. They just have to be in the right spot at the right time. Neptune is still just eating up all of these materials. It just got a lot bigger. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Neptune just suddenly popped a lot bigger. And then it just ate that poor moon up, which was already sitting on the um, edge of reality as well. But yeah, that's crazy. Look how close these two are getting now. Really, uh, really crazy stuff. But yeah, it's just crazy how all of these asteroid moons have been turned into 5,000 kilometer monsters. And now they're just consuming everything close. There's only going to be one survivor at the end of this. Um, of all these closer ones. Unless it's the final one smashes into the planet as well. But I mean, look how close that is to Neptune. That is dangerously close. Um, so yeah, there we go. Triton, on the other hand, still just too far out to be affected. So yeah, Triton's on the safe zone. Oh, and that one's just been eaten up. Oh dear, Neptune has just gobbled it all up. So it's gained more mass as well out of all that. But yeah, Neptune seems to be the dominant force. As, um, as all, yeah, seems to be the dominant force ever. <laughs> yeah, there we go. No surprises there. That's what I was meant to say, but um, yeah, there we go. So it's still a lot of material. You can see there's all particles. If you look carefully, you can see there's... Let's see if my mouse, you can see them, all these circles appearing. I don't know if we can really see... Uh, yeah, we can't really see the mass, but there is definitely hidden stuff there. So, yeah, there we go. Let's turn it back on. All right, let's keep going. But, yeah, by the looks of it, this moon seems to be our survivor. So it actually was torn apart by Neptune, but it actually managed to hang on and survive. So it seems like this is now the closest moon to Neptune. But, yeah, it did lose a lot of mass from that. So, yeah, there we go. But Triton, on the other hand, seems to be completely fine. It looks like uh, this moon out here's orbit is changing slightly as well. Look, it's all bobbling around um, out there. But yeah, there we go. So now we, I guess we can speed it up a lot more. But it seems like Triton and then this um, Despina moon, they're too far apart to affect each other. I mean, nothing's going on. They can just orbit around forever and nothing happens. Um, I doubt when this moon comes in as well, it's going to affect Triton because there's a much bigger gap 
uh, between Triton and this one compared to Triton and this uh, and then Dispinner here, which are already a lot closer. So yeah, I, I doubt um, Nereid over here that's going to get any impact with um, Triton. So yeah, that seems to conclude um, today. But I'm definitely going to do another test because I definitely feel like Neptune sort of messed it up because I mean, look how big Neptune is now. It's almost the size of Saturn. Ne Neptune shouldn't have got bigger there. That that was very weird why it did that. Look at it. From all those moons, it got this much bigger. Yeah, I'm not sure that's quite white um, game, but yeah, look how big it is. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do another test to see if we get different results. Um, so let's go ahead and search um, 5,000 up. So yeah, where are we? Uh, Saturn 5,000. Okay, so there we go. Neptune 5,000. Let's go ahead and reopen it. We'll give it another shot and see if we get different results. So Neptune itself... Don't know why it's doing that. I'll leave calculated radius, or maybe that was why it was doing it. But, um, yeah, there we go. So let's click play, and let's watch this chaos unfold once more. So see if we get the same results or not. So, yeah, there we go. But as we know, these moons are not going to last. So, yeah, it's Roosh Limit already on, my, on all three of the closest ones there. That's funny, actually, because Roosh Limit wasn't working last video. So I don't know why it's suddenly working now. Maybe it's still a little buggy. Those two are already close for a collision. I mean, that is just dangerously close there. So, yeah, there we go. Protoss is out there. Still going. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, this surely. Yeah, there we go. So they are colliding. Oh, and that just instantly disappeared for some reason. That was very funny. Don't know why it did that, but yeah, either way, it's destroyed. So yeah, there we go. All right, we'll keep an eye on Neptune as well. I don't want it to gain too much mass. Actually, I could just manually make it smaller in theory, but yeah, any any large pop in size, that's not particularly right of Neptune to do that. So it's weird. Those two just. Wow, how did they not collide there? I mean, look at all three of these. It looks like these two are the ones colliding instead. So that's another one gone. And I think the reason why it disappeared straight away is because I'm running the simulation too quickly. That's probably why. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we will slow things down a bit more. Right, how's, how's Neptune doing? Okay, all good. A lot of shadows and eclipses going on right now. I mean, look at these four moons just so close together. But yeah, these two, surely we're going to get a collision out of these two here. Yep, there we go. So there we go. Right, so now, yeah, now I'm playing it slower. We can actually watch the collision unfold. So yeah, there we go. We'll just uh, turn all that junk off so we can actually see it nicely. So yeah, there we go. Big collision there, but that Protoss moon is gone now. And it's created a massive water crater of where it hit the other moon there. So yeah, there we go. Right, orbit's back on. Right, and labels on, labels on. So there we go. Right, now let's keep it up. So this moon has also been torn apart still. Look at all these fragments of mass. All of this has been torn apart. So there we go, Neptune. Just going to consume all of that mass. Um, if not, it will make a ring. So there we go. Right, these two, dangerously close as well. Roosh limit is still shredding all these moons apart as well. So Neptune, Neptune is the overall king here. It's it, all other moons are destroying each other. Neptune's gravity is still ripping them apart as well. So it's just absolute chaos here. You can see all of the particles orbiting Neptune very clearly now. You can see that sort of a ring being built here of all these uh, um, parts being just shredded. I mean, all that mass and material which has just been shredded apart here. I mean, that's pretty crazy stuff there. But yeah, things keep going the same way. Oh, Neptune, ne seriously. I know you're like the king here and everything, but yeah, so that's definitely some way to prove it. Neptune just got a whole lot bigger. It went up to 42. Why? That's so weird. None of the other planets did that. But yeah, as you can see, yeah, Neptune is the overall king out of all this. And yeah, we did get similar to results the last time. It just shredded the moons up and then the moons collided and created even more material. But yeah, that is um, pretty crazy. But we'll do one final test um, to keep it going as well. we'll cause I, it may have done it because I sped the simulation up. So we'll just keep it. Uh, yeah, see, th that's not right. I don't know why. <laughs> that, yeah, I think this build may be a little buggy because that, why did it do that? That was just 17.6. Why? I mean, look how big it is. This isn't even Neptune. Like, what? what is that? <laughs> why did it do that? I mean, pretty funny glitch, I have to say. But seriously, game, what, what made you think to do that? So, yeah, there we go. We're, Okay, so, yeah, we'll leave it at about 10 minutes because that seems to be a stable sort of thing. So we'll just watch it unfold from here. I'm not going to play around with the um, speed anymore unless I'm slowing it down because, yeah, that, that was very funny. I don't know why that moon just suddenly thought it wanted to be bigger than Jupiter. So, yeah, very, very strange. And it made no sense. Uh, very, very strange. <laughs> I have no explanation for that, guys. That is just a glitchy build of the game, I think, is the... Um is the um, problem with that. But yeah, there we go. So as we can see already, look at all of these particles. It's just amazing to watch, really. Just look at look at all these particles just open up into a ring. As you can see, it's already forming a ring shape as well, which is um, pretty awesome to look at, I have to say. I mean, look, look how cool that looks as it all unfolds. But yeah, we're, we'll give it a slight increase. I don't want to go much faster than that, though. We'll slow it down a bit. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, oh, no, don't go too slow. I'm a little quicker. 
There we go. Just a, just a tad more. I want it about 14. 15, not 17. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, about that. There we go. So, right. Yeah, you can see all that. there's all this material being shredded out as well. Obviously, these moons are going to collide at some point too. I mean, look at all three of them in the line like that. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. I mean, look at all of them. Look at all of these particles which are just being shredded. Look at this. This is all the mass being shredded apart while other moons are taking all the mass on. Because obviously, the moon, these moons are inside the ring. So they're going to eat up the moon mass and all the other moons. But again, they're just going to get shredded apart as well. So all the material that gets taken off the moons just gets taken off the moons that collect it as well. So pretty crazy. Looks like... Look how close they're getting. I mean, that, that's a collision waiting to happen right there. There you go. So that's one in there. We could get a triple collision there as well, maybe. No? Oh, very close call, though. So, yeah, there we go. That's, that is, that's very crazy how that didn't make a triple collision there. Wow. So, yeah, there we go. You can see all these, all these eclipses going on Neptune, all those dark spots. Pretty awesome to watch, I have to say there. But um, let's continue. So... Um, Okay, we're going a little faster now, but um, yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it up. So yeah, there we go. Very strange why Neptune suddenly decided to do that though. Why did it just pop, pop, and make it that big? I mean, a little unrealistic game. I don't know why you're doing that. There we go. Another collision of the moons there, making an even larger moon, as we can see there. Look at all those particles. It's the particles that sort of glitch out when Neptune engulfs them all, and then Neptune suddenly pops up in size. It's very strange. I'm gonna, actually going to lock the. I'm going to lock the radius so it can't get any bigger. That's probably what I should have done to begin with. But now we don't have to worry about Neptune having any uh, weird stuff like that, as it simply should not be able to get bigger now. Um, I hope. It's still getting bigger, though, so I'm a little concerned. But it's locked. Come on, it's locked. It shouldn't be able to get bigger than that. But yeah, there we go. So it looks like Rouge Limit is just obliterating that moon now. It's almost at 10,000 in kilometres. So it's just eating up all of that material. Look at the amount of... Look at all the smoke trail it's making. Look at that. Neptune is eating all... Yeah, yeah. See, it is the smoke that ruins it. But yeah, Neptune, Neptune, you are very naughty. For, look at it. 70,000. It's bigger than Jupiter. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know why it's doing that. that. Very, very weird. But as we can see, we're getting the same sort of results anyway. You can sort of get the gist of what happens. I mean, I know Neptune just takes over in the end. But as you can clearly see, the results from this is... If you make all of Neptune's moons 5,000 kilometers in radius... They're going to collide very quickly as they are very, very close in proximity to each other. As, yeah, they're already very close to the planet. And also, if you make them all 5,000, they're going to, they're, the room between them, there's not going to be any breathing room between them. They are just going to get smashed into millions of pieces straight away while being torn apart by Neptune's gravity as well as colliding into each other. So, two factors to worry about colliding with another moon and the planet itself just shredding you to pieces. So,. Yeah, for some reason, look how, look how big it's got. It's locked. I don't know why it's getting any bigger, but just look at the size of this. That is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like this other moon isn't going to last much longer either. But yeah, that is our results from today. So yeah, make all the moons 5,000 kilometers in radius. They're going to smash and bash. And then Neptune is going to just eat all of the remains up anyway. So yeah, there we go. And it probably would also form a ring realistically as well, possibly. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is it for today's video. So that is what happens if you make all of Neptune's moons 5,000 radius in kilometers in the new version of Universe Sandbox. So you're a little weird. I would have to say I, I would have to put part of the blame on the version of the game because it has been very glitchy and maybe that's why I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, it seems very glitchy when doing that. And it's very weird why the object just suddenly gets a lot larger from just collecting a few pieces of mass. So but yeah, very weird. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure to hit that like button down below. Let me know if I should do this with like Pluto's moons. Maybe we could make them like 500 kilometers in radius. I mean, obviously it's Pluto. We've got to make it a little more reasonable with the size. But yeah, I reckon if we did Pluto's moons to about three or 400, 500 kilometers, that could be quite an interesting interested in seeing all of those guys um collide but yeah let me know if you want me to do that um, but other than that make sure to subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 11,000 subscribers um and yeah leave a like for neptune's best planet and obliterating all of its moons i mean look at all these smoke clouds just orbiting that's pretty crazy stuff but um yeah leave a like see if we can go for about 30 40 likes Sang around like that guys and also a massive thank you for watching this video as well guys i really really appreciate it it means the world uh, you guys still come back for every video really really awesome stuff so i can't thank you enough for that um, but yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description to keep up to date of all the new stuff and re um, recommend me ideas and stuff. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.